morning everyone. Today is March the 27th. I'm gonna get out uh, just before the end of the year and try doing some perch fishing in Lake Superior as we pan to the right. You can see the harbor is starting to open up. We have the icebreaker in town that's uh, breaking the ice for the port. It'll be long until we get out there for doing some lake trout and salmon fishing. So it's minus 17 Celsius today. And I'm not sure what that is, but minus what, six Fahrenheit or so. Get out, uh, I'll see how the fishing is going to be today. It should be sunny and they're calling for a chance of snow flurries a little bit later on. So we've got a kind of a strange winter here. We've had probably the most snow we've ever had in, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 years. We've got uh, just close to two feet in one snowstorm last week. And this week we're forecast to get another foot in another snowstorm. So um, see how the ice is. It should be uh, kind of interesting to get out there. So. Just got onto the lake, uh, just gonna take a quick look around here. So the snow is pretty hard packed, so we'll, uh, we'll see how the machine does today. I think it's probably gonna overheat, even though it's probably minus 20 or so right now. But uh, we're gonna follow the markers and we're gonna go probably about five or 10 miles. Let's get going. We have a good foot of super hard packed snow here. So the handle on the auger is not long enough. So what do we have to do is just dig out all the snow. Then I'll use the uh, auger to drill down. So hard, we almost need the axe to chop here. All the way to the bottom, eh? Yep. Need another extension. So cold out the uh, Nalgene bottle. Water bottle. Frozen, so we can't even get the water out of it. Let's see what we can do. I don't recommend putting them close to the heater. We already melted one a couple weeks ago. There we go. Yeah, Leatherman's good for everything. It's uh, set up here. Well, set the one rod up, and we already got one. What do you got? 
It's kind, of, it's kind of tough to tell these are uh, alternate rods. A little perch. Let's see what those guys look like. Yeah. Not a bad one. That's a little guy. A little more color to me. Eh? I'll keep catching some more. Another guy. What is it? Yeah, it's not a bad one. That's on uh, what a pink little micro jig. No, like a little pink jig with a minnow. A pink jig and a minnow. That's uh, not as big as the tank. Okay. <laughs> we got a couple, a couple nice guys so far. I mean, this one's a little smaller, but we'll make a nice uh, feed later. Holy I, crap, that's a jumbo one. I just about had my fishing rod get ripped down the hole. That's got to be, uh, that's, Jesus, that's my hands nine inches there, so that's got to be 13, 14 inches. We're going to have to measure that guy. Uh, it's unbelievable the, uh, the perch, the size of these perch we're getting. Let's uh, get a measuring tape and we'll measure that. Looking good here. Ketchup's frozen, so I have it inside my jacket to try, try to warm up with the uh, mustard. Let those buns toast, and we're all ready. A burger. Oops. We got another one. It's kind of gone uh, slow here this afternoon, but oh, that's just a little guy. We've got maybe a dozen, dozen and a half, but fishing slowed down the last what, two or three hours. Yeah. Ever since we had our hamburgers. You get a cut in your pants here, too.